Week 16 wraps up with a 64-46 Spokane win over Los Angeles. And with it, the Shock are going back to the postseason for the fourth time in the last five years. At the Honda Center with Anthony Heron, J.B. Long, it was billed as a fantastic quarterback matchup. And this one went to Eric Meyer. Well, it's two quarterbacks who have great resumes throughout their career, but one quarterback who at 43 years old is certainly on the back half of his career, on the back nine, if you will, but Eric Meyer in his prime. Two weeks, two starts back from injury, and yet another great performance from the reigning AFL MVP. 23 out of 34 in tonight's game, 214 yards, six touchdowns through the air, and two other touchdowns on the ground. And the performance tonight to me from Eric Meyer was a bit of a methodical approach that he had in the game because it wasn't a lot of the flair with the way he's running around on the field. There was plays that had to be made. There was a lot of three-step passing. There wasn't a lot of the big throws downfield. And I think the way he approached tonight's game was workmanlike, and that's what it had to be as this team heads into a bye week. Garcia, meanwhile, effectively took himself out of the game after a hit, had lost feeling in his right arm, was not making effective throws. Kenny Guyton, though, in relief, Gave the kiss something to go home happy about. Kenny Guyton, the former Ohio State Buckeye, an impressive young talent who did a really good job, I think, when he came into the game. If he has to start any contest coming up here, I think the L.A. Kiss fans should feel good about it. So the shocker in, the Kiss are still alive, and you're going to Philadelphia next week? I will be Monday night, a little Monday night football, AFL style, Orlando at Philly.